Munson for Good Morning Portugal. And uh, it's the morning after the night before of the horrible blaze here in San Martino de Porto, where uh, I really thought we were going to lose this building at the end of the street. It's very reassuring in some ways to see that the turret is still standing, the tower of what uh, I have subsequently found out was a building built by Antonio Rosa, who I believe made his fortune in Brazil in the 1920s. And as I approach, although it's good to see the tower still standing, the building itself is still smoldering this morning. A good uh, more than 12 hours later, and we've lost the roof as I w walk closer in. I'm going to go around the front scene, but as we uh, approach from the back here, the roof completely collapsed. And the smell of smoke, obviously. Or the smell of a burnt building. And burnt building materials hanging in the air this morning. It's a damp, cold morning here in San Martino de Porto, but just take a look at that, if you will. And I'll go around the front, but you can see how the roof has collapsed in and how it's still smoldering. So I'll have a look at the front and um, see if the um, see if the fire service is still here keeping an eye on things. Okay, approaching the front of the building now and just turning the corner to look at the Park Hotel. Still smoldering as you can see from the back and the street deserted. Obviously a busy scene last night. This street was full of firefighting appliances and still smoldering at the back. There's no personnel here monitoring the building, it would seem. And uh, daylight gives us an idea of the damage. And this is the uh, old neon sign that you're going to see now. This is what a lot of people will remember about this build, building and hotel who've been here in San Martino de Porto. There it is, the hotel park. And the roof has fallen in. Turret is still standing. Those little holes in the top of the turret there, they were always there over these last few years. But a lot of people I know who saw the videos from last night, saddened by the, the idea of this building possibly going beyond repair now and its future and even more doubt. But thankfully, no loss of life as far as I'm aware or any injuries. Well played by the Bomberos, contained it. No danger to people living nearby. You can see how close houses are to the side of the hotel there. Yeah, extremely quiet, a far cry from the uh, melee of yesterday evening. Yeah, look, other houses quite close by, so all of these folks around here must have been quite concerned as it was blazing last night just across the road there, new apartment block and the police station just down to the left there with the light on. But we'll see what happens next. I was looking at an old uh, news article, I think from 2018 possibly, talking about how when we arrived here, uh, our, my family in 2017, how there were plans then. There have always been plans to do something with this building. And even then the, uh, the article spoke of how the building, as beautiful as it is, isn't ideally suited or is very attractive to a modern developer or a hotel owner maybe that's why it's uh, in the state it's in and that's why this is its fate <laughs> 